I'll start the story from here next time. Hello everyone, I'm your host Sakuma, and welcome back to another episode of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Last episode, we got everything started off. You think me mad. I can see it by the look in your eyes. And we'll get a bit of dialogue. You think my story is impossible. Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. Come back, little lady. Come back, little... Oh. Never mind. Uh, keep going. I will be with you in a little bit. It's a very pretty and excessively large room. I don't think there's a need for it to be this big. Also, those platforms shooting out of the side of the wall, probably entirely unnecessary. Pull and hold L to rewind if in trouble. I can do that. Did I take damage from that? I hope not. The guest rooms, where my father... All our entourage and I should have passed the night they The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. So in the last episode, we got everything started. And it looks like there are, so far, three survivors. At least at this point. There were some other survivors that we kind of, maybe, sort of saw before. But, oh. That works too. <laughs> the survivors that we can confirm, that seem to be at least of some importance, are the prince, who is going unnamed, the vizier of the previous kingdom, who is obviously, very obviously, the bad guy, and the lady, or the maiden, or the whatever you want to call her, in red, that we just saw just a little bit ago. Something I did not mention last episode that I kept on thinking, but couldn't say because I kept on getting interrupted, was why the heck would you trust a guy who has a snake staff? Have you not seen the movie Aladdin? Clearly this is a bad idea. Also, he's a vizier with a snake staff, which probably makes it even more worse. So. There are going to be some sort of collectibles, which are entirely optional, but if you collect them, they will help. Okay, bye! Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. This is for me, thank you. Very good. Alright, now we have to go through here but we're going to go up here, because this is where the most important upgrade in the game is. Keep on going, keep on going. Or go down. At least I'm pretty sure it's up here. I hope it's up here. If not, I don't know. Okay. Prince. This is not... Come on. There we go. No, no. So at least the left and right are correct. At least compared to Jack and Daxter too. Or Jack, too, I should say. Up and down, not so much. Okay. And now we'll be going in here. I guess I will get that upgrade I mentioned... Maybe when we get out of this room? Looks like we have to take the long way down. And we've got enemies down there. Okay! Pull and hold R to run along wall to bar, which we have established before, is something that we are okay to do. Thank you, game! I wanted to run up that wall. That's exactly what I wanted. How did you know that is what I wanted? That is actually not what I wanted, so screw you. 16 retrieves will give the dagger new powers. It's going to also be called as uh, 16 enemy kills with a dagger. But I guess technically you are retrieving sand from their body. Hi, guys. Ah, this looks like one of the fatter guys that was running from us before. Okay, no. Whoop, whoop. Okay, that's not... Okay, I'm getting surrounded here. Let's see if we can get out of here. By the way, I'm probably not the best at combat in this game, but I think I can hold my own. Or at least I could, darn it, when I last was really good with this game. So hopefully I can at least survive well enough and get better at the, with the combat as time goes on. At least I'm not playing Mirror's Edge at the same time this time. Okay, how about we do this? Whoop! Okay, that does not... I think that... Whoop! That'll work. Come on. One. Here's two. And stab for three. Perfect. 
16 retrieves. First power tank created. This should give us a new power. That's why they call it a power tank. Then again, tanks of any kind are usually powerful. Even if it happens to be a Metroid tank. Okay. Run up wall, jump, and switch. Whoops. And switch again. We're up. One more time. And another sand pillar. Alrighty then. So in addition to a regular counter with a sword, now we have a counter with a dagger. Save the game? Oh yeah. I'll start the story from here next time. Thank you for that. So now that he is back up, it seems like we should be going that Once way. Once came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams. Each time I awoke feeling <laughs> drained and beaten. And each time, what I had seen came to pass. As if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. Ow. <laughs> Okay, so something interesting to note is that when you save your game, you might have seen it before. But if we come back in here, we actually get something kind of interesting. If we say we want to save the game, now this is the chapter we are on. Whenever we go to save our game, it shows the chapter we currently finished. So, at least when we get into a new sand pillar. So you kind of need to pay attention to these chapters you're in if you want to get all the major upgrades. Because most guides that you follow are going to use the chapter you're in as the basis for where everything is to collect. So this chapter is going to be called Had I Really Seen Her. As you wish. Get up. Get up. Uh-huh. Get up. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure that we need some health. Yeah, we do. Do I need more? No, I don't. Okay. Very good. And I know that this is the chapter where we get that special upgrade. Hmm, I see something over here I would like to get. Thank you very much. And is there something over in here? No, there's not. I think that's where we chased the girl from before. So now, hmm. Let's see, we've got that there, and we have this over here. That's where we came from. Whoop! And back. Very good. Okay, here's where our first major upgrade in the game is we need to go in this little hole. And that sound is indicative that we have found a secret location. These are extremely important. What the? This is pretty. Hello? Maybe there Someone really were there? elves in this series. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not in Azad anymore. Thank you, Dorothy. Water. For some reason, we can only take one sip of it. I'd rather take as many sips of it as possible, but... No. And now that hole is gone. But we get more health for it. And that is the reason I have been painstakingly looking out for this thing. <laughs> Alright, that was a bad idea. But at least we get our first example of the main element in this game, which is The miracle I had travel. experienced by accident in the Maharaja's treasure room, I now discovered that I could trigger at will. By pressing a switch on the dagger's handle, I could turn back time. Which is totally awesome. Uh, let's go this way and pick up this thing, because I think it's something we would need. Thank you very much. Whenever I pick that thing up, you can see that something on the bottom left, or on the left side of the screen, you can see a uh, circle underneath our uh, sand count. And whenever that fills up all the way, we will have a new sand tank. Whereas the things on the right are the power tanks. Now, where is that lady? Oh, there you are. Give me the dagger. That's what the vizier said too. Who are you? I am Farah, the daughter of the Maharaja from whom you stole it. 
this is your doing. I saw my father turn to sand. And we will share his fate if you do not give me the dagger to undo what you have done. Your traitorous vizier used the same words. From now on, I trust no one but myself. Those are really big beetles. Go back to the reception hall. Wait for me there. Go. I trust no one but myself, but I will stick with you. Okay, beetles, die, die. Ah, no, 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 no. There we go. Hi, beetles. There's a lot of you, and I don't appreciate that. Please die a little bit faster. I would appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and we're done. Perfect. Okay, and there was water. Now I remember her. Since we left India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me. We were three. That's right. Ah, here we go. I didn't think there would be anything back here, but I decided to come over here anyway. And I'm glad I did. Ta-da. Right, one more sand tank. Hmm. This way, I suppose. Looks good. If we're getting a cutscene, that probably means it's the way to go. Unless it is a cutscene that kills us. In which case, we can rewind time. Looks like quite a few stuff to pick up in here. Also, this is the most grandiose bedchamber in the entire place so far. Whoops! Hmm. So, you've seen the visions before from the uh, pillars and I can't remember if he said it or if it was addressed or not but those pillars will show what is to come to pass Hellgoth. in the next chapter what? birds of evil carrying the hourglass I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen but I knew with a certainty I could not explain that those winged creatures had a master the man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize and for some unknown purpose coveted the dagger as well, would stop it nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. And probably turn him into a sand monster in the process. Is there sand in your heart? Let me check. <laughs> Making good progress here, but no more. Now we've got two drop down. And skip a pillar to get to this pillar. All right. And we've got more beetles. Of course we do, because why the heck not? Time to die, beetle. Nope. Okay, that was a double hit. Even though we're putting our weapons away, I'm going to get them back out so I can get this one. Also, I'm sure that there are going to be more enemies in this room because it is too large to contain nothing but two beetles. Hmm. So the game does give us a little bit of some help. Jump on the shadows to get to the next pillar. Thank you very much, game. We need a lot more games with helpful shadows in them. Looks like we can get up here. Aha. So, jump for... Th oh my gosh! Okay, look you. When I say jump... When I say jump... I want you to jump, not do a flip. Move it, Princey! There you go. Okay, come on now. Whoop! Whoop! There you go! Well done. Convenient of this place to fall apart, yet only lose the things that I don't need and leave everything behind that I do need. Dun 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 dun! Hmm. Let's see, do I want to go over there? Or... Yeah, it looks like this is the direction I need to go. And I'm going to want to do some more pillar hopping on the way. There we go. There we go. And nope. <laughs> uh, decent enough. We can't wall run because this wall is too damaged to run on. So, drop down. And more beetles. Of course there are. Why would there not be? Get him before he gets to you. Come on, get over there. Okay, that was simple. <laughs> 
starting to think the Beatles are a little too easy, although they have hurt me a couple of times, so good job, Prince. Who can say for sure? And more Beatles! Alright, great! You guys are just annoying. Whoop. Come on, get him! Perfect. More enemies dead. Uh, where to next? Where to next? Where to next? Let's see here. Uh, I guess we can go that way, but that's the way we came from. I would like to not go the way I came from. Is there anything over here? We have a landscape view that can help us. Oh. For some reason, I did not notice this pillar. I do not know why. Get over there. There you go. That is not what you're supposed to do. A little bit more. Is that good? Perfect. And battle time. Okay. Here we go. Tap L for slow motion or press Y to freeze an enemy. Okay. I don't need to worry about those yet. Okay, now we've got the ladies. Hi there, ladies. Scantily dressed ladies who are sure to kill me if I am not careful. You notice that the enemies in this game look a little bit different here and there. Ah, there's an example of the freeze. Let's go ahead and cut her up. Instant kill. He was saying something, then we couldn't hear. All right, then. Come on, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy. Can we at least... Yeah, they're not attacking me yet. Counter. Can I do a counter here? Come on, guys. Come on now. Okay, I tried and didn't do it. At least she's dead now. So the enemies are going to look a lot different from each other. The reason for this is to distinguish their attack types and immunities. Enemies are going to be immune to different types of attacks based on what type of enemy they are. Let's see. I don't know what the names for these guys are, but I'm going to assume that these yellow guys since they seem to be the simplest and possibly the weakest. I think we'll call them Brutes. Or, no, not Brutes. Brutes are tough. Let's call them Grunts for now. Not sure what the... Oh, crap. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Here's what we're going to do. Going to run over here. And this is dangerous, but we're going to drink some water for some health. And took a little bit of damage, but I have more now. Yeah. Like I said, it has been a while. I believe that the dancer ladies are actually immune to you running over their head. Let's try that out, actually. No, they're not. At least not these ones. Get that one. Oh, there's that guy over there. He's ready to be knocked down. Yes. There's another one. Whoa, that was close. That's it. That one, too. I'm going to get attacked soon. I should get ready to block and then possibly counter. Good enough for me. Okay, stop. With, no. No. Let's not do... No. Let's not do this. There we go. Alright. Much better. Now then. Come on now. Let's do slow motion. Okay. No. No. I think I tried to do a different power before I was able to get it. Okay, let's take care of this guy. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's like really bad. Let's try something else out here, actually. So, tap L for slow motion. Enemies are at a disadvantage. That's great. Oh, shoot. I actually came over here. Did slow motion so I could get this extra water, and I lost my power tank in the process. Okay, ladies. Get this one. There we go. Now will they let me do the whole spinny thing with the dagger? It looks like it tried to let me do it, and it didn't work. I'm not really sure what these ones are immune to. Maybe they're immune to overhead dagger retrieval. Let's try that. Yes, they are. Okay, so you can't do that one. And knock this guy down. Grab up her first. And last one. Woo! That's it. Time for another battle. That was probably the hardest one so far, considering twice I had to take a break to refill my health. Hopefully I'll get better at this game again as time goes on. Now then, before we go over to that sand pillar, I think we should grab this thing since it's pretty much save your game by going in here. Excellent! That's why you want to keep your eyes out for those. More sand tanks you will appreciate even more later in the game.
early on. They're kind of like a nice little touch, but later we're going to need them more than anything else. Oh boy, the next one's going to be a real pain. Save the game? Yep. So that level was Had I Really Seen Her. Thanks everyone for joining me for Prince of Persia today. Come back next time and we'll go into the next chapter. See you then. Take care. Oh, thank God! I was afraid you were one of them! Can you help me activate the Azad defense system? I'd rather not.